Field Trips features real field stories told by real ASCE members. Well, hello and welcome. My name is Sebastian Lobo Guerrero, and today I'm going to share a story from the field. This is Field Trips. This story started about six, seven years ago. Uh, it was in the city of Altoona. I'm going to show a few images to make it a little easier to follow. We were working on the remediation of a rock slide, which is what you see on, on the image right now. Uh, we needed to stabilize the part on the left and we needed to remove the block that is on the right. It's a complicated operation with a lot of risk. There is a gas line, there is traffic, there is a shopping mall on the right side of your screen. The idea was to remove this block, stabilize the upper part, and we got a contractor involved very early on the project. And, and again, we need to take this mass out, and that's what you are seeing that the equipment is doing. While the process of doing this, I'm constantly going and saying, we need to remove the mass, we need to go down to a failure plane, we need to make sure that everything, of, you know, all of this is, is gone. Uh, more images of me walking on the failure surface, looking at these blocks. It's many complicated problem with a lot of, of blocks and trying to transmit this to the contractor. The local contractor was, was it's a rock star. I mean, the, the, the guy owns the business, he operates the equipment, he's extremely knowledgeable. Um, so as you can see in the picture, we're discussing. And then one day, it's a lot of stress because this is an emergency job. And then one day he comes to me and said, I want to ask you something while we're working. You keep referring that we need to go down to the tailor plane and, and I want to understand more what are we doing this. So I have a copy of the original edition of the of, of Taylor's, you know, Taylor's book of you know soil mechanics and foundations and slope stability. It's a very famous name on slope stability. The Taylor slope stability charts are extremely well known. Uh, it's one of the pioneers on the field. So I thought he was referring to that, and I started getting very concerned and very stressed because I keep thinking, what, what am I am I missing here? Why is he talking about Taylor planes here? And and what exactly is a Taylor plane? Because I don't know what it is. I I teach no stability as you know at the University of Pittsburgh, and I don't even know what a Taylor plane is he's referring to. So we continue working, and 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 as we keep going and going and going, one day you know I told him, and we're we're standing there in the picture. I said. What's up with this Taylor plane that you keep referring? And then he kind of went back to me and said, you are the one that is talking about Taylor planes. And then it finally hit me. He was just referring to the way that I was saying Taylor plane. It was the mispronunciation of my lack of English knowledge that I was mispronouncing Taylor plane into what he was understanding as Taylor plane. So it was it was a very funny anecdote. We have a good time. We laugh about it. It actually helped the team a lot because we bond and, you know, and we were able to to complete this project, you know, successfully, and and you know, that's a picture of the two of us. We became really good friends. We still work together in a few projects after that. So, it, it's just a fun story, but to me, it also illustrates the point of of communication. And you know, it's 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 extremely important to be, to try to be as clear as you can on on your projects. Uh, for those that you know, like me, that were not born in this country, uh, we will always have the accent. We will always have this. Uh, it's okay. We just need to navigate around a little bit. So, you know, I I hope you like the story. I, you know, I, I hope that you find some value in, into it. And, and as I said, thank you very much for the opportunity. My name is Sebastian Lo Guerrero, and this was my Field Trips story. Bye. Field Trips is a production of ASCE and the Geo Institute.